Welcome to the Daily Briefing from Interest.co.nz, I'm David Chaston. Today we look at the latest OCR review, we check the July retail sales data, get an update on consumer confidence, and we'll wrap up with what the other media are reporting. As widely predicted, the Reserve Bank has left the OCR unchanged at 8.25%. They are wary of the international financial market turmoil for New Zealand, however they expect a significant boost to the economy over the next two years from a sharp rise in world prices for dairy products and some other commodities. A sharp decline in the New Zealand dollar since July, sustained, will act to reinforce the effects of higher world prices on the export sector revenues. The recent collapse of a number of finance companies and reduced liquidity within the non-bank lending institution sector generally could dampen activity in some areas of the economy, they say, such as property development or consumer financing. However, they expect those negative effects to be relatively contained. It seems, from their point of view, these collapses will help their current policy. A pity about the investors. And curiously, this latest statement made no mention of the impacts of a loose fiscal policies and high government spending. It now seems very unlikely the OCR will be changed either way any time before early 2008. July retail sales numbers out today do not show a domestic economy falling away. In fact, with healthy car sales, growth in retail is still over 5% year on year. Furniture, hardware and accommodation sales are particularly buoyant at present and the supermarket industry is doing well as well. These sectors are all achieving year-on-year -year sales growth of over 8%. But the real star this month is the car sales industry. They managed a year-on-year -year increase of more than 13%. The Reserve Bank will find this latest data at odds with its desire to see a more modest change in this side of the domestic economy. But there's probably little they can do at present. Not only are some key exports doing well, but the strong program of income transfers from the government is pushing this area along rather nicely. The financial markets are taking a buffeting, but you wouldn't know it from reading the consumer confidence surveys. And it's probably a good thing. The latest reading from Roy Morgan shows a slight decline from two weeks ago, but this reading is still on a rising trend. It is still more than seven points higher than the same time last year. This survey found that the largest and a growing group of us think things will be better financially in a year's time. And with the likelihood of no more interest rate hikes in 2007, the trend in this survey should continue to track up. And finally today, a quick wrap-up of some other recent news. The international credit turmoil does have a silver lining. Well, a gold one, actually. The gold price has pushed on up through US $700 an ounce in the last day or so, up near its recent peak in mid-2006. The Reserve Bank will become the regulator of all non-bank lenders, including finance companies, building societies and credit unions, Finance Minister Cullen said. Credit ratings will be mandatory for most, however small deposit takers with assets under $10 million will be exempt from credit rating, but will have to prominently disclose they are unrated. South Canterbury Finance has revealed they are currently holding $87 million in cash, plus they have $150 million in undrawn bank facilities. This shows they are under real pressure from investors. In December 2005, they held $200 million in cash. December 2006, they held $145 million. Current cash holdings represent only 7% of debenture borrowings, whereas for those earlier periods it was 20% and 12% respectively. You can get more news and start with Newsmaker Views on our news page. Join us again tomorrow for the freshest finance news on the web. We'll see you then.